matchup against the Pacers. Miller's on Bryant. Red John Cole. Colby to the baseline. Mm. Here's his turnaround to tie the game. So much attention towards that middle. So much attention. Pacers. Look. Miller's catch, on Bryant. One dribble. Turns the back. Now it's like, okay, are they going to try to run off a ball screen in, the, in, the, in this post area? And so it's kind of like, okay, I'm anticipating myself going in this direction if I'm Reggie Miller. Still getting closer. Boom, Kobe gets that baseline before the count gets too long. Oh, that's filthy. Hold on. The split-second reads. That's dirty. Catch. Count the numbers at this point. One, two, three, four. Overloaded to his right. So Kobe rips left. Seven on the shot clock. Gets here. Turns. As he's making this turn, he gets Reggie off of him. And he also sees the double coming from his peripheral. Turns back. Gets in the air. Sees the big step up since he's created so much space on Reggie Miller. But what does Kobe do? Dump it down to Shaq who has great positioning down low. Kobe, make that shot and stay at home on Shaquille O'Neal. Here's Glenn Rice. Driving just to pass. Little things like you're about to see right here probably put some of the most pressure on the defense that you don't even realize. Where you see players playing help, and all you do is take a dribble to them, right? Because this one dribble, especially if you're playing with gravity, will just make the defender say, am I going to commit to the drive and close off this lane, or should I just stay to the player that's on the outside? Cole literally just takes some of these dribbles in the mid-range just to pull that help defender in because he knows that he has this gravity. Kobe Bryant. Overloaded. You may have fucked up yourself, right? Because even now, once again, count numbers. If you're a defender at this point, right? Once again, Kobe's catching in, and it's overloaded, right? Now it's overloaded to his left. So where do you want to force him? As soon as he catches, you want to make sure you force him to your right. Makes the catch. Initially, out of position. Now he begins to adjust his feet. And that little time that he st stood there adjusting his feet is a time that he ended up Kobe Bryant. Being late for Kobe's shot. Like and, and boom, landed on underneath him. This nowadays would be a flagrant to ejection and some more shit. And regardless, Kobe's still gonna be Kobe. Let me know if y'all want that too as well. Bryant hits over Jackson. Oh. Look at the body positioning. When you get to a point where you know you can score so good that you can't just score from normal angles, you gotta find a way just to throw off the defender and still be able to get your shit off, right? Look at the body though. Angled the whole other way. And so even right here, you're like, damn, that's a tough ass shot. But the only thing that really matters is say, fuck the body. I got myself in there. I got squared. Anything I needed to get to. And my ball got to my release point. I got those two things. I'm good. Brian. I'm good. Hit got his shoulder square. That's what he's gonna have to do right now as he works himself back into the game. And Kobe goes up and blocks it. Oh, this whole time. Y'all have seen how disciplined Kobe is as a defender, right? Especially in the post. He doesn't overreact. He doesn't try to make a play. He doesn't try to get a steal. Doesn't even try to get a block. The block right here is a result of Kobe staying solid the whole time. And then as he sees him go up, then he goes up and not trying to get there early. Let me see if I can see his foot. Ah, ah. So y'all know how Kobe sprained his ankle, right? Coming back game four against the Pacers, right? And so this is where it greatly affects him. It's now when he's trying to go right into a pull-up or shoot over his left shoulder, is this left foot. And so notice as he plants, right? His foot is pointed towards that baseline. Due to the lack of mobility on the ankle and the tape that's on it, he can't fully turn that foot as much as he wants to to be able to do his work early while he's on the floor instead of when he's up in the air. But really, he has no choice. So now at this point, he just has to do his work in there because he just can't turn that foot. AC Green... Looking for Bryant, but Jackson has pushed him far from the basket. Uh, Doesn't take him long to get into the lane and hangs in the air with another footwork. AC Green. Pass to Cole, Bryant. Boom, 45. Bryant, but Jackson, Cuts through. Cole's back is turned. So what does he do? Sweep as soon as this cut is made. So now this whole right side is empty far from me to be able to get into the middle of the lane. And that help defender still going backwards. And now he steps over. But now Cole just gets up in the air. About it being a loss start the NBA watch Cole, watch Shaq, watch the action. Basket. He has that pull up Boom, they missed a little Kobe opportunity, but regardless, Kobe still got the bucket. But realize how they could have scored on this. Talk Get an easier ball bucket. Kobe, ball screen's about to happen. Now watch Shaq's defender. At this point, he steps away from protecting Shaq and the rim. So at this point, if Shaq slips... Who's stopping this? Shaq rolls one dribble. Boom, hit on that help. He's able to get exactly what he wants. But regardless, Kobe's able to get here and get that midi. Quick. 
shaking on Miller. That tween was just nasty. And hitting a two. And remember what I was talking about pace, your own pace. This is Kobe's pace. He knows his pace. Like once he gets to relax, and once he get hit hit you with like a, a mean little tween, that's that's the type of type of moves that Kobe would go to at this point in time. Where he'll just kind of relax a little bit, then he just hit you with a, a go, a quick little go to see if he'll bite. Shaking Reggie, on Miller. Boom, fit on that one. And hitting a two-point basket. He was just inside the line. Their thought process, it should be close this out tonight. Brian. Oh. <sighs> Gravity is insane. In transition, which is where the defense is most vulnerable. Really leverage your strength. Now you're going to see Kobe get here, dribble, pull up, in transition, and have three defenders just staring at him. But, like, why does he have three defenders on him? It's transition. Defenders are not set. They're not fully thinking most of the time. So they just see something. It's like they all think, oh, we all got to stop it. But really, y'all all don't got to stop it. You just got to communicate. But with the game going so fast, it gets tough to do so. So, boom, right here, dump down. And one. Count the basket plus the foul. AC Green. Off the Bryant assist. Bryant jab. I wish people used a jab more, bro. I wish they did. I wish people just kept it simple. I wish we could exchange the dribble, dribble, hard and size ups for jabs. I wish we can. Because realize how much pressure the simple jab puts on Kobe's defense. Look, jab. Look, look at his move. Jab again. Boom. Dropping back. He's just so scared of the drop that he's just dropping back. He's, he's just dropping, dropping, creating space with every single one of them just for him to get up and get a shot. Feel good about as they go home, especially Kobe and Shaq. Mm. Here's John Sally, his weak side read, weak side read. There comes a point where you run things like pick and rolls, and the coverage that's going on immediately in the action right in front of you doesn't even matter. You just read the help side, right? Kobe Boom, sets Shaq. the screen. Kobe's just reading him over here, seeing if he plugs in. Because if he plugs in, then he hits his corner. If he does not plug in, then he's going to do exactly what he does right here and it's throw John him the ball Sally. on the inside. Weak side read. Something is so simple. I ain't gonna lie, he did fuck up right there. Hands was in his pockets. At first it was on his knees. Right, cause it's like, I know he's milking the clock. But the demeanor right here just kind of set him up for failure later because it just kind of just relaxes him. You know what I'm saying? It just relaxes him. So now he gets his hands off his knees and now his hands are in his pockets. Hands are in your pockets against Cole. Your hands are gonna be late regardless. And you let the ball get up here, you're done. Watch Cole, right? Boom, gets to him and he gets that shot. But this is where Reggie fucked up. This is where he fucked up. His chest is to the ball. Your chest being to the ball, the ball gets thrown in the passing lane. You're going to try to make a steal for the ball, and it's going to be with that left hand. And so at this point, he's going to try to go and recover. And in trying to go recover, you now have to open yourself back up. Because your chest was to the ball, not towards your man. So, boom. Kobe gets right here, right in front of Reggie. Easy lane to the middle. And gets the midi. Broken down their defense. Kobe. Hands it inside to O'Neal. The thing with jump passes, right, is that you'll get here, right? And at this point, Kobe already knows the type of pass he wants to make. He already knows the reason for his pass. A lot of y'all like to jump pass and make a decision in the air. Kobe jumped pass and already knew his decision and saw the gap. So now he just dumps it down the shed, and he gets that. He worried, bro. He be, he be mixing, bro. When you really look at it, bro, like, tell me, like, Kobe don't be mixing, bro. Tell me don't Kobe don't be mixing. Like he, like look at it, just watch the defender, bro. Shift, boom. pull up. I got that. Oh my gosh, not even a hand, bro. Eight for 27. Eight for 27, hold on. Eight for 27, but you realize how many times he's, what you call it, making plays for Shaq in the midst of this? He's still working through this. He's just like, all right, I know it's not my time. Boom, I'm going to get it to him. And you know what I'm saying? If these shots were going down, it's a different story. They're probably not even this close of a game. But he's like, okay, I'm not going to take my shots. I'm just going to dump it down to Shaq. Shaq could get it going. They can't stop him. 